Hello and welcome to today's class. Today we're going to work on our hips, the flexibility and strength of our hips. And we're going to do it in a very soft, gentle manner. So, start by opening your legs in front of you. Feel free to have them slightly bent if this is too much for your hips or your hamstrings. Interlace your fingers, reach forward as much as you can, reach towards your left foot, come back to center and right and make flowing circles on top of your hips. opposite direction. And come back to center and now come on to all fours. Make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Round your back, tuck in your belly, look down towards your belly button, cat pose. Then draw up your belly, arch your back, look up. Round your back, tuck in your belly, look down. Inhale as you draw up your belly and look up. Exhale, round your back, tuck in your belly. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, and let's do it one last time. Draw up your belly, look up, inhale. Now exhale into a nice neutral spine. Now bring your right knee in towards your chest. Open your knee to the right. Bring your knee back and up, so you're squeezing your back. Bring your knee back in. Right, back, in. Make flowing circles with your hip. And the opposite direction, back, right, and in. And come back onto all fours. Let's change sides. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Open your knee to the left. Bring your knee back and up. Bring your knee back into your chest. Left back in, flow in circles with your left hip. And the opposite direction. And come back onto all fours. Now open your knees super, super wide. Go beyond your mat if you can. Bring your toes to touch behind and sit back. Feel that hip stretch. Drop your elbows down. And this might be it. But if you think you can take it a little bit further, walk your hands forward and release your belly, your chest, and your head down to or towards the floor. And release. Adjust your pose once more into all fours. Let's warm up our downward dog. Walk your hands a little bit further forward. Tuck your toes under. Keep your legs bent. Lift your knees off the ground. Bring your chest over your thighs and then straighten one leg at a time until you feel ready to straighten both legs at the same time in downward dog. Come on to your toes, lower your hips into plank pose, drop your knees, flatten your feet, 
lower your whole body down to the floor. Slide your arms forward as much as you can. Open your knees super wide. Bring your, the soles of your feet together and have a go at dropping your feet towards the floor. And release. Drop your legs down to the ground. Walk your hands back up. Come on to all fours. Open your knees super wide again. Front pose. Bring your feet in line with your knees and open your feet to the sides. Then drop down onto your elbows. Now make sure that you do not collapse forward. If anything, you're pushing your hips a little bit further back. And then walk your arms forward and release your belly, your chest. And your head down to or towards the floor. And release. Walk your hands back up. Adjust your knees. And now bring your left knee to the outside of your right knee. Open your feet wide and have a go at sitting between your feet. Now make sure that you're not sitting on your foot. So push your feet as far away from your body as you can. Bring your hands in front of you and just walk them forward as much as you can. The idea is to put some pressure on your upper leg so you keep it getting a deeper stretch in your hips. And release. We're going to change sides. Find your way back into all fours. And now bring your right knee to the outside of your left knee. Open your feet wide and sit between your feet. Push your feet as far away from your body as you can. Bring your hands in front of you and walk them forward. And release. Walk your hands back up and find your way back into all fours. Now tuck your toes under, lift your hips, downward dog. Have a look at your hands and step your right foot forward. Do it in a couple of steps if you need to. So your foot comes all the way forward and your heel is right under your knee. So we stack one joint right on top of the other. Drop your left knee down, flatten your foot and bring your hands to your right knee. Engage your core and sink into your hips. And release. Drop your hands down to the floor and now drop your right knee to the floor. See if you can bring your left leg a little bit further back, jump onto your hips so you're not collapsing onto one side, and then walk your hands forward into pigeon pose. And release. Walk your hands back up. Tuck your left toes under. Step your right foot back. Downward dog. And now bring your left foot forward again in a couple of steps if you need to. Drop your right knee. Flatten your foot. Bring your hands to your left knee. Engage your core. And then sink into your hips. You're engaging your core so you don't collapse onto your lower back. 
So you try to tilt your pelvis as you drop. And release. Drop your hands down. And now drop your left knee down to the ground. So your foot is facing towards the right. Your knee is facing towards the left. See if you can slide your right leg a little bit further back. Jump onto it and walk your hands over into pigeon. And release. Walk your hands back up and now we're gonna sit. So swing your right leg forward. Bring the soles of your feet to face each other. With your hands, grab your feet. Use this as leverage to straighten your back. So as you inhale, lengthen and straighten your spine. And as you exhale, release your knees down towards the floor. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, release your legs further down. And release. Let's go down to the floor. So with the help of your hands, release your back completely down. Once your back is on the floor, bring your feet in close to your body and hip with apart. Now bring your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Bring your right hand through your thighs and grab your left leg with both hands. It can be your thigh or it can be your shin if you can reach. And then bring your leg in towards your chest. At release, let's change sides. Drop both feet back down to the ground. Bring your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Bring your left hand through your thighs and grab your right leg with both hands. Release your back and shoulders down. Bring your leg in towards your chest. And release. Now bring both knees in towards your chest, keeping your legs bent, bring the soles of your feet to face up, open your knees wide and with your hands grab the inside of your feet and bring your knees down towards the floor. At release. Release your left leg completely down. Extend your right arm to the side. With your left hand, bring your right knee all the way across the line of your body to the left and look over your right shoulder. And release. Release your right leg completely down. Extend your left arm to the side. With your right hand, bring your left knee all the way to the right. And look over your left shoulder.
and trail it. Roll all the way onto your back. Release your left leg down. Let your legs drop. Let your feet flop. Have your arms beside your body. The palms of your hands facing up. Lift your head off the ground. Place it back down. Close your eyes. This is Shavasana or the corpse pose. We're going to practice meditation in this pose. Make sure that you're comfortable so you can keep your body still during our practice. And now, bring your awareness to the sounds around you. Gonna practice mindfulness and we're gonna do it through this beautiful technique. Start by noticing those sounds that are coming from outside. Notice how at this moment It is only through sound. You can perceive things that are happening beyond the walls of this room. Listen to the sounds of cars. Listen to the sound of birds or any other animal. Listen to the sound of the wind as it moves the leaves of the trees. The sound of rain if there's any. the sound of other people. Now bring your awareness to the sounds of the room. Maybe the sound of an appliance. The ticking of a clock. Some music if you're playing any. Listen to the sound of my voice. Listen to the sounds of your body. The combination of all sounds. way that you can distinguish between them, even though you perceive them all at once. Some sounds are soft, and some sounds are loud. Some sounds are close, and some sounds are far. Some sounds come and go. Some sounds show up only once. And some sounds remain. No sound is permanent. All sounds will eventually reach a point of silence. No 
how would you describe this time to change and move? However we mourn it, it's a different combination of sounds. Making every moment special and unique. Every moment happens only once. And then it's gone. your whole awareness to the sounds of the moment and give this moment your full presence. slowly start moving your fingers and your toes. Bring your arms above your head and stretch your arms back. And when you're ready, roll onto your right side and sit up. Find a comfortable sitting pose. Have your back as straight as you can. And bring your hands together, close your eyes. Bring your thumbs to touch your third eye. Lightly hook your foot to lips with true speech. And to your heart for compassion. Namaste. Thank you very much guys for watching and see you soon.